You see, church, we know what Mary didn't know, that hope is alive. That hope shows up and brings light to her dark world. We have seen that hope, that hope that is alive here at Gainesville First United Methodist, through the meals that have been served, through neighbors checking on neighbors, through masks being made for medical professionals, and multiple unseen ways that people are carrying on during this time. The resurrection of Jesus announces with a mighty force that hope is alive. Easter is a celebration of that hope. And darkness may be filling the, day, the, the daily news, but we can have hope because the light is coming. The hope of resurrection is that this world, this world is not just the world where Jesus died. This, my friend, is the world where Jesus lives. And Jesus still brings hope to, to a dark world. He restores where life has been robbed. He brings resurrection. The hope of resurrection gives us faith to live in a world that tries to rob us of goodness, peace, and life. Faith gives us courage to look into the darkness of that empty tomb, into the uncertainty of the future, into the face of any darkness we are faced with and trusting, trusting in the love of God. I've been asked frequently, how can I really have hope in these times? And my answer seems to always be the same, because he lives. Because he lives, we can face these uncertain days. Because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Because he lives, we don't have to fear. Because he lives, life is worth living. Because he lives. So this Easter, as the virus rages all around, may the world see hope when it looks at God's people. May the world see the church as not a building. May the world find faith in Jesus' death and resurrection. And may 2020 be known more than just the year of survival. May it be known as the year of revival.